What's going on guys, this is Josh Dragon here, and today we're going to be attempting a damageless playthrough of Crash Man stage for the game Mega Man 2 on the NES. Crash Man has one of the more interesting levels in my opinion because it's primarily vertical, so we're going to be climbing up ladders for most of this level, and we're also going to be utilizing the metal blade for the majority of the stage as well. Uh, as soon as you get started with Crash Man's level, you want to immediately switch out to the Metal Blade. It's going to really help for taking out these barrel enemies that you're going to see in the first couple of screens here. And for the Met Tools up here, uh, the biggest trick with them is just make sure you're keeping your distance away from them. Jump over or duck under the bullets, they're going to fire three of them out. Um, they're pretty simple to deal with as long as you don't get that close, you won't get hit by them. Okay, now for this screen, you actually have a couple of options here. One of them is we can wait for this cart to come down and can just ride it all the way up to that ladder. The other option, which is the one I'm going to be going with, is we're going to bring out item 1 for this part, and we're just going to kind of float our way up there real quick. Okay, so for this part right here, we're actually going to see the first noticeable difference in the difficulty settings. If you were to play this on normal mode, you would only have to hit this guy one time, but because we're playing on difficult, we actually have to hit him twice, and we have to avoid his uh, projectile attacks um, after that first hit. Another way to avoid uh, dealing with him if you want is just use the item 1 to, uh, to jump over him. So for this met tool, uh, I actually chose to kind of engage him and then I moved away, and then I finished him off over there. That's probably not the best way to take him out, it was better just to jump onto the second platform shoot him once he opens up his helmet, and then just keep moving. And we're going to pull up the leaf shield right now, which is really going to help out against these birds. Uh, the birds tend to swarm in on where you are, so you want to make sure that you have a weapon like this that's very reliable for taking them out. Uh, as soon as the birds are destroyed, you're going to find another um, you know, mama bird flying across the screen to try to take you out. Uh, so just try to keep moving basically through this part as fast as you can. And this is the reason why I took the right ladder. If you take the left ladder, you have to deal with this guy who's firing the pellets, and of course he can fire them directly up and knock you off the ladder if you're not quick enough. Okay, so now that we're at the top of this structure, we're going to drop down, grab the E-Tank, and we're going to actually use item 1 to get up to the left ladder over here, the, f the one on the far left, and uh, we're going to grab the one up. I would probably recommend switching out to the metal blade at this point as well. It's really helpful for taking care of these helicopter enemies because of one shots and Now for Crash Man, um, of course you have a couple of options for fighting him. We, we can use the Air Shooter or we can fight him with the Mega Buster. I've never really been that great at fighting him with the Mega Buster in the past, so I'm going to use the Air Shooter in this case. So this first part of the fight, I'm actually doing this a little bit the wrong way. Now I'm doing it better. Uh, I jumped up and then I hit him um, just as I was starting to come down for my jump and that's an easier way to take him out. Alright guys, so just like that, we have taken down Crash Man's whole stage, no damage, completed our damageless run, and uh, guys, let me know if you enjoyed watching this video and if you'd like to see more damageless runs from uh, any of the Mega Man games. Personally, I'd kind of like to do the whole Mega Man 2 game just to see if I can beat the whole thing without taking any damage. Um, I think that'd be kind of an interesting challenge. But uh, let me know what you thought of this video, and um, thanks again for watching. I will see you guys at the next one.